Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome to a very special video about, well, breaking down all the information from the live broadcast on Nico Nico Doga and YouTube for Utah Macross SP. Now, if you did not watch that video, I would highly recommend you to watch it. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. You can watch it off the original Utah Macross Sumafone De Culture YouTube channel. The whole live broadcast is there, but for now, we're going to show you, or I'm going to show you, <laughs> and I'm going to talk about all the major information that is brand new um, for Utah Macross in the upcoming months. Uh, hopefully, they will release bit by bit because there is a lot of new information. And, well, probably two of them will be released together because they are related uh, simultaneously linking to each other so let's get down with the first information all right so i'm going to show you guys a screenshot right here all right and it's talking about the retweet campaign now um obviously when there's a new anniversary or special event uh usually there is a retweet campaign and what you have to do is basically find that post all right i'm going to leave the tweet the uh, Twitter tweet <laughs> Twitter link in the description below uh, and for you guys to go and retweet the post of course the more the merrier the more retweets there are definitely the better the rewards so looking at the image here screenshotted from that video all right so you have uh, from the 2nd of August which was basically yesterday uh, it is now currently the 3rd of August that I'm filming this. So, yeah. Um, from the 2nd of August all the way to the 15th of September. Uh, tw uh, 23 hours and 59 minutes Japan time. Do take note of the time period. It is Japan time. Alright, you have this time period and the du or duration to retweet that post. Alright, so if we reach the 7,000 retweet mark, basically... All the players in Muta Macross will be given five, oh, sorry, 50 singing stones and 2,500 zodiac medals. Alright, that's pretty decent amount. Now, what happens if we hit 10,000 retweets? Basically, all players will be given 100 singing stones and 5,000 zodiac medals, which is very, very generous uh, for a retweet event. Now, why... Um, do we need Zodiac medals? Well, basically, if you have not been updating yourself with Ultra Macross recently for the past three months, uh, Dana, the company that produces Ultra Macross, has been releasing two sets of five star episode plates that are in the Chaos Exchange. Now, the Chaos Exchange requires Zodiac medals to exchange for items uh, under their listing. So, uh, if you are free to play player um, those episode plates under the chaos exchange are definitely very crucial for you guys especially if you're intending to unlock um, secret boards for those episode plates that are repeated uh, within this chaos exchange so um, yeah so do take note uh, 100 singing stones is pretty crucial as well for free to play players especially if you need the singing stones to help you re-energize your energy to play um, the events and of course getting better um, scores or points for your ranking yeah that kind of thing so all right let's move on um, to the next thing so if you see here i'm going to show you a few clips along the line all right, uh, first one is definitely Freya. Now, sadly to say, I can't let you guys hear the audio um, for those videos because of copyright reasons. So mm. anyway, guys, I'm going to mention what is going on in the video. Um, all you have to do uh, is just take note of it. All right, so this entire section of the video in the SP broadcast was titled as swimsuit collection or rather the utahime swimsuit collection so basically your diva um diva swimsuit collection all right so first video they showed here is freya in her bikini costume of course dancing uh in this special background all right that is 
that only appears when Freya is wearing this costume in a particular song. Now the part that song is actually um let me see. Freya's song is actually Rune Pika. So yeah, I'm gonna short form that title of the song because it's really really long. So Rune Pika. Uh yeah, so if you play Rune Pika with Freya in that costume, uh obviously she will have that special stage. Now if you use Okay, the next person would be Makina. Yeah. So Makina, if you wear if you make her wear the swimsuit costume and perform that live, um it has to be Jiritic beginner. And then of course she will get the special stage. Now it wasn't mentioned it wasn't mentioned at all during the live broadcast um, that you have to make them wear the costume and play a specific song. It's only when I was watching the video and breaking down the information then I noticed that oh the background sound was actually this particular song. Uh, yeah, so you have to make them wear the swimsuit and play that per uh, specific song. Then you will get that special background just like Sharon Ohm. Uh, wearing her Gira Gira Summer bikini, performing Gira Gira Summer. <laughs> Alright, and of course, we have the brand new Kaname uh, swimsuit co uh, costume. If you play Wakure uh, Wa Ura Gira Nai, and yeah, performing the live, she will get that special background as well. And of course, the brand new upcoming gacha. Mikumo in her swimsuit, if you play the same song as Kaname, Wakure wa Uragira Nai, she will have the exact same situation. And here we go, you have Lin Min Mei. <laughs> we were very, very surprised because, well, we didn't expect Lin Min Mei to be part of this swimsuit collection. So leaving her to the last bit was really, really a shocker. Lin Min Mei in her brand new swimsuit that was never shown before in any of the TV series or movies for uh, Cho GQ, Yosai, Macross, the very first original Macross generations. Um, yeah, and this bikini costume is brand new exclusively to Uta Macross. So yes, you get to see Lin Min Mei dancing in three-dimensional uh, character figures for this particular song, which is Gira Gira Summer. <laughs> so yes, you have to make Lin Min Mei wear this costume in Gira Gira Summer and you get this special background. So that's all it is for the Cho... No, not Cho Utahime. Uh, Utahime Swimsuit Collection. Yeah! <laughs> so anyways, guys. Um, third point in the SP broadcast video. Okay, I'm going to try and speed things along because... There are a lot of pointers here. So especially the last few where they are the major changes to the game. Alright, so guys, bear with me. It might be a long video. Might be. I actually estimated that the, this video would be probably about 40 minutes long. But okay, let's speed things along and hopefully it'll be pretty short. Alright, so the next thing we want to do uh, announce is actually Cheryl Gnome's birthday costume contest i'm sure you guys who follow me on facebook uh will probably uh, already know most of this information or roughly but not in full detail so this video is mostly about breaking down all the information that was updated on the facebook page and breaking it down for you guys so you can understand what's coming towards you so guys prepare yourself uh sadly to say I know most of you guys aren't very pleased with the selection for Cheryl Gnome's birthday costume because it doesn't feel like Cheryl. I agree. Yes, it doesn't feel like Cheryl. It feels more like a Ranka costume than a Cheryl costume because you don't really see Cheryl Gnome wear such cutesy looking costume. Anyways, guys, nonetheless, congratulations to Omi-san. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of O in the name. Um, yeah, for... Um, winning the contest uh, as you can see here the sketch illustration that Omi-san submitted and of course I'm gonna show you guys here the fan art for that costume uh, if you guys aren't following me on Facebook as well uh, under the Macross Spacetime Deculture group 
I did post up this illustration there. So if you guys want to update yourself as quickly as possible, um, instead of watching these videos uh, when it comes out, you know, these videos are more to uh, summarize and clarify yourselves. Uh, if you guys are following already on the Macross group that I'm administrating. So yeah, um, the illustration here basically uh, is the full drawn version of that costume uh, that o Omi Sun created. And yes, this illustration is also drawn by Omi Sun uh, them herself, himself. I don't know. Uh, I think it's a lady, but all right, guys. <laughs> So congratulations Omi-san once again uh, for winning the contest for Sharon Nome's birthday costume. So we will be getting that costume for Sharon Nome's birthday uh, which is coming on the 23rd of November. So prepare yourself. Um, that costume definitely if they follow like Ranka's birthday costume will be given free by clearing special missions and all that. So yes. Um, of course, there's definitely going to be Cheryl Gnome's birthday step up gacha. So do prepare money for buying Singing Stone bundles. You know, if you are a Cheryl Gnome fan. Um, yeah. So guys, get ready. Uh, if you are a free-to-play player, highly recommend you to start saving up. Especially since um, the first anniversary is giving out a lot of free Singing Stones at this point in time. So you might want to start saving for that uh, instead. And yeah, um, another announcement, if you guys aren't following me on the Facebook group, I've already posted it there. Basara's birthday is coming up very soon. So guys, uh, if you're anticipating for Basara's birthday, Step Up Gacha, it's just right around the corner on the 15th of August. Yeah, so prepare yourself. Alright, let's move on to, to the next pointer, which is... The most exciting first brand new update for Uta Macross that is to come, which is the six button play. Yeah, so six button play. It, it sounds scary, it looks scary, but it isn't exactly very scary. So here is why. Anyway, guys, um I'll explain why in just a moment. Just watch this clip. Um, as always, I can't have the audio there because of copyright reasons. So yeah, you can take a look and see how Naka, uh, Nakajima Megumi or Mamegu in short uh, handles very hard plus mode on Sekan Hiko. Okay guys, so after watching that video, if you pay close, very close attention, um, the notes that actually came down weren't exactly like how extreme songs on the four button play were, where you had two notes on the side, left or right. Uh, so yeah, it might have it, but they probably cut it off because the extreme gameplay footage was pretty short. Uh, but under the uh, gameplay video of uh, the six button very hard plus mode, um, yeah, there weren't exactly double taps on either left or right side. So yeah, if you want to see that video, I would highly recommend you to watch the entire SP broadcast video. Uh, the link is in the description below. So, yeah. So, if you take a look here uh, carefully, the sliding notes on the screen actually kind of mimics this game, uh, Sound Vortex in the arcades. Now, Sound Vortex uses knobs to turn left and right so it follows accordingly to where the uh, shade of lights sway so yeah it kind of reminds me of that um, some of the other Facebook members of uh, Macross Space Time Day Culture have also mentioned that it resembles I must gameplay or even uh, what's the other one uh, Tap Sonic 
So Tap Sonic is another mobile phone game um, that actually uses your own music uh, in your mobile device and it creates random notes accordingly to the well the pitch of the audio that is in the song. So the accuracy in terms of notes for Tap Sonic, I've played Tap Sonic before, isn't exactly fantastic. Uh, Utah Macross is very spot on because the notes are produced accordingly to the song. So yeah, Tap Sonic isn't exactly the best game to practice this, I would say. Um, uh, if you are actually thinking of a music game out there that is already released, that actually can practice sliding notes. I think, what was the other music game, the piano one, where you can actually slide your fingers left and right to... Uh, oh god, I can't really remember what the game's name is. Probably I'll research it and I'll put it on the screen right here. So yeah, <laughs> the game would probably be that name. Uh, if you guys want to really practice uh, music game sliding your thumb if you're playing by thumbs like me I play by thumbs so I don't play by fingers touching the screen like this you know I, I tried that and it doesn't work for me so guys yeah if you really want to practice sliding notes um, yeah that music game is definitely for you um, yeah all right so let's move on to the next important point of information that they release uh, which is Valkyrie Operation Mode. I know on the Facebook group I actually put it as a uh, Valkyrie uh, Resource Hunting Mode because I named it that way because this is actually pretty common uh, in a game that I played on the PlayStation Portable and the 3DS and the PS4. If you guys know what I'm talking about from the consoles mentioned Yes, it's Monster Hunter. So, <laughs> Monster Hunter did have a system like this uh, where basically you send your cats out into the uh, wild and they will come back after a period of time with wonderful items. So, yes, Valkyrie Operation Mode works exactly like that. So, we're gonna, I'm going to show you um, a clip, a short clip. After watching it, uh, we're gonna break it down exactly how um, this thing is gonna work in Uta Macross. So enjoy, guys. Hi, eh, to, Uta Macross, the mo Valkyrie pilot, ga, katsuyak, suru, yoni. Oh, no, 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 Alright guys, so if you pay very close attention to that video, you'll probably see a lot of uh, hidden stuff. Uh, yeah, so, okay, let's break down uh, scene by scene. Let's look at this first screenshot here. As you can see, Reyna is there. We have no idea whether the diva selected uh, has anything to do with the missions. Uh, maybe having certain divas will unlock certain missions and all that kind of thing. There's no confirmation about this information. It's just pure speculation at this point of time. So until um, Utah Macross producers, uh, staff, or handling the Twitter announces how these things are done, uh, this is entirely speculation at this point of time. So anyway, guys, if you take a look at the top row, all right, it has words there with the Valkyrie at the side. Now, looking from left to right, Okay, the t arrow tail thing, yeah, that has yellow and green. The Japanese text there says debut. Now, from this, we can definitely tell that these are debut missions. If you recall, starting Uta Macross, we had to go through some debut missions as well, you know, before the real missions appear. So, this is gonna happen the same way for Valkyrie operations. We had to clear eight debut missions. As you can see, the numerals are there. One slash eight means they probably cleared one mission already. So yeah, 
All right, and then we move down. Looking at the uh, Cho GQ Yosai Macross image there. At first, initially, I thought that image uh, was an episode plate image. Means uh, maybe if we obtain a certain episode plate, we will unlock that particular mission. But apparently, no. Yeah, so or maybe you probably have to play a song from that generation of Macross and you unlock the mission. Who knows? Well, we're just speculating as I said earlier. Alright, then moving on. Look at the item image beside that episode plate looking image. These are the images of the items that you probably can obtain from the mission itself. Alright, so how do I know about this? Uh, well, I'll tell you about it later on when we reach that particular screenshot. <laughs> okay, so guys, um, if you look at the blue button there, okay, basically the blue button means if you tap on it, you're gonna enter into the mission, yeah? So you're gonna uh, try and complete that mission. But of course, there's something else you need to set first. But if you take a look at the bottom of the blue button, it has a clock looking logo and numerals there. So basically those numerals are the duration of time that you need to wait for the mission to complete. Yes, that time is real life timing. So if they say 10 minutes there like the image shows, you have to wait 10 minutes then the mission is completed. Then from there, if you move on to the next slide, I'm just going to show you guys what it says uh, when you tap that blue button first before explaining how uh, the mission is completed. Alright, so first of all, if you take a look here, it enters into this mode where you don't really see very often unless you've been choosing your Valkyrie uh, like I have. Yeah, you can change your Valkyrie into three different modes. If you don't know, Macross is well known for its fighter planes to be in three different forms so we have you know the fighter mode which is what you currently see then of course uh the the other two options the yellow one and the red one uh the yellow one basically goes into gear walk mode so it's like a half plane half um humanoid shape so then of course the last one is your um battle right mode so yeah I, I'm, I'm kind of tired so reading the japanese text is a bit uh, <laughs> taking a while uh, to process okay anyway guys um the three different modes if you look carefully um have a particular item at the top glowing and uh, yeah so that particular mode of the valkyrie will give you higher chance to obtain those particular resources so yes, the modes of the Valkyrie play a part in this Valkyrie operation uh, mode. So yeah, and the big button down there with the Japanese kanji basically is to send your Valkyrie out into the mission and that's it. So looking at the next screenshot, uh, you can see that um, the blue button is now replaced with a pink button and the items shown there is basically what you have of you have obtained uh yeah from returning the mission so tap the pink button and of course they will show you the animation saying that uh congratulations uh you have done a good fine excellent fine probably they might have different animation in terms of the highest uh or rather the best mission questing that you've done i guess so they've shown us the best animation so far so it's in golden text that's why it says that in japanese dai seiko means uh, great find great success you know that kind of thing so all right then of course here we have the reward screen yeah exactly what you have seen before tapping the pink button the items that you obtain and there we go so this is how we can conclude that whatever you obtain from that particular mission um, is guaranteed from, not say guaranteed, or but you might obtain, you know, from looking at that beginning portion of the mission uh, screen. Yeah, and of course, 
lastly, at the end of the video, they did obtain seeing stones there. So there is a chance that you might unlock seeing stones from completing missions, I guess. Uh, so yeah, um, purely speculation, but with visual evidence, there is a chance for it. So keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, we're going to move on to the next point because... Uh, well, that's still a quite a bit more to go. I've written like notes, you know, while watching through the live broadcast over and over again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey guys, the next one we're going to talk about is Kiawawa Rank. Uh, so basically, <sighs> we have another video to watch. So enjoy guys. Oh, <laughs> Alright guys, hopefully you guys paid very close attention. There's not much to say about this one, um, but there are some pinpoints, uh, points, factors that uh, kind of is important. Like Makina standing there, well the main reason she's there is because well she is a diva who's very good at with her hands. Um, you know because she's a mechanic, uh, her family is mostly all mechanics up to her. Well she does love machines but she, at the same time she loves to sing. Hence She's the first mechanic diva <laughs> uh, within her family line. So yeah, and of course, look at the image. Well, you can see that they are showing all the costumes for that belongs to Freya. And um, only her main Valkyrie default costume is at 2 stars. So this is where things get interesting. Initially, from zero stars, my guess when where we are currently in the game, uh, before this mode is implemented, none of the costumes have any levels um, as of yet. So, what they're showing right now is Freya's main costume uh, getting leveled up from two stars to three stars, and of course, by using the items uh, shown in this current screenshot. If you have paid attention uh, in the previous point, um, which is regarding Valkyrie Operation Mode, the items you get from Valkyrie Operation is actually related to this one, which is the Kiawawa Rank. Now, the items you obtain from Valkyrie Operation is used to power up costumes. Yeah, so Valkyrie Operation is very important in terms of leveling up your costumes for your divas. Now, what happens when you level up a costume? Well, the producer of Uta My Cross has mentioned in Japanese, there is no visual evidence. So I'm just purely translating it for you guys from listening to the video itself. This is what she said. Powering up the costume or leveling up the costume's rank actually improves the stats for the costumes it means like initially if the costume gave a six percent boost to soul probably it might increase the percentage to maybe 10 15 percent i don't know we have no visual evidence or so it's just speculation at this point in time but she did mention that the stats of the costume will improve which is fantastic and of course we did get a visual uh, evidence of the costume changing color from Freya's level 2 version uh, which is the original red changing to white. Now why this is important? Well if you know Valkyrie's uh, costume Blau Bloom, um, that costume does have various uh, color variations in the anime and of course maybe in the movie as well. I have no idea. I have not watched the movie but if that costume does appear in the movie and it does have different color variations, well, now you know. Um, the concept for Kiawawa Rank probably came from Blau Bloom's character 
uh, color variations or maybe even back to uh, my cross frontier and yeah my cross frontier i think my cross frontier was the first one that included alternate color costumes uh, especially when it came to the ichiban kuji prizes um, where uh, Sher Sheronome and Ranka's costumes had alternate colors you know that kind of thing so I guess that's where it started from so now they're implementing it into the game for Ultima Cross uh, as alongside with how the costume Blau Bloom is for Valkyrie where the initial default color is actually blue then it came out with black then there was a red pink version so yeah so that's probably how this costume color change came about which is fantastic because playing the songs thus uh, with a different color is pretty visually appealing I guess sometimes the alternate colors may look nicer than the default who knows anyway guys that's pretty much it for Kawa rank there really isn't much to explain other than the fact that you know um, the points that they show for the costume power up uh, if you take a look at the large um, what do you call it the, the actual item for the powering up of Freya's costume was actually named cross stone um, yeah so if you take a look at the screenshot here it's called cross stone and of course they used six pieces to power up the costume which needed 900 points so if you divide 900 by 6 well each item of the cross stone large size is worth 150 points yeah so um, in the past the only other item that actually is used for powering up certain thing is actually the episode orb which is to which is used to actually obtain a costume or a Valkyrie they have not fully unlocked with the points from the episode plate. So with that said, uh, let me just give you the rundown of the points for episode ops if you have not known by now. The small episode op produces 10 points for a costume or Valkyrie. The medium sized versions give 50 points for Valkyrie or costumes either way. And of course, the large ones give uh, 120 points. So, since the cross stone produces 150 points, you can roughly estimate from the episode ops calculations how much the small and medium are going to be. You know, that kind of thing. So, anyway guys, um, tossing Kiawa rank aside, we are moving on to the last point, finally. But the last point has three minor details, so let's gonna take a bit more explaining so anyway guys let's move on here is a screenshot of the conversation they had regarding the last section of information for Uta Macross update which is Uta Macross Pass uh, or rather they call it short form Uta Uta Maku Pass so uh, yeah um, they're gonna implement this particular item called the Uta Mak. Utamak Pass. I can't pronounce it in English. Utamaku Pass. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that uh, will be obtainable through daily logins. So, yeah. Uh, if you recall, uh, logging in every day, you know, there are certain items, you know, like for each day that you can obtain. So they're going to probably toss this pass into one of the slots, replacing one of the items, I guess. Uh, since we are getting more of the uh, resources for episode ops um, unlocking, uh, I guess they're going to replace one of those items uh, with this pass, you know, because since we can already obtain those items easily through the Valkyrie operation mode, yeah so that's just speculation on my end don't take it to word you know they may not they may do it this is just full assumption so don't take my full words on it yet <laughs> anyway guys all right so the first pointer if you see the number one circle all right it says there uh it's the uh cho cho gq log in bonus so basically it's a space time login bonus that will happen every day 
So that's how we know that it is a daily login bonus obtainable. Then pointer number two, yeah, it's used for ChoGQ Gacha. So yeah, it's a different kind of Gacha, I guess. Uh, that's in the Gacha tab in the future. So yeah, okay. Anyways, what can you actually obtain from this Gacha with this pass? The first blue item dotted there is actually this item. This item here. It's on the screen now. <laughs> uh, it's the uh, rare, rare Up Star. So what does this item do? From the name itself, you can probably guess. Rare Up Star. Now, this item is used for episode plates that have not been fully evolved. Okay, it's written there in the tiny Japanese text. 4 star to 5 star rarity up plates. Yeah, so um, using this item, you can rarity up your 4 star plates to 5 star plates if they have not gotten an extra copy to evolve. So yes, these, this item will help you evolve those plates that have not been evolved. Now, here is a question to you guys. Do you think by using this item on a 5-star plate that has really maxed out its evolution, um, or rather a 4-star plate that has already maxed out its evolution means it's evolved to a 5-star version, using this item on that plate, will it actually unlock a secret board? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> so what we can speculate is um, it may add a secret board value, it may add something else, I don't know. But from other games that I've been playing, if you obtain an extra copy of something, it usually adds on to, like for for our game here in Ultima Cross, a secret board. So adding that plus luck value or, you know, um, costume points if you have already maxed out your secret board you know that kind of thing so anyway guys that's pretty much it for the rarity up star okay then we're moving on to the second rare item from this gacha which is this one <laughs> the life ether now what does the life ether do basically the life ether lets you revive in a particular song now let's say for example if you play extreme and you're practicing the song and you fail but somehow or other you've only managed to fail three quarter way to the finishing mark and you want to clear it without using any singing stones well this life ether is where it comes in basically it replaces the cost of reviving yourself in the song without using singing stones now which songs is applicable for use on this I uh, for this item well my guess is only songs in the normal live tabs so if you're playing a song in an event tab that means like let's say for example we're currently going through an event right now and you fail in that event I have a feeling this item will not save you at all probably this live actor is only um, usable in the normal um, songs that are in the normal four generation tabs you know um that you usually uh play for collecting the uh let's say in the ticketing events you need to play the normal songs to gain the tickets yeah i guess this live actor is only used for those songs not those in the events you know so anyway guys it's just speculations, um, but that's just my assumption. I have a feeling that's how it's going to be used. Hopefully, that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, and uh, once Dana releases info on it, then we'll see how. Alright, so now point number four. Nothing special. All it says is, any other items obtainable from this gacha are basically points for your diva proficiency so if you have not maxed out your diva proficiency this is probably another way you can actually level up your diva's proficiency so yep and of course um the other thing that it has there stated in uh, hiragana 
Yeah, I think it's hiragana or is it katakana? I'm too tired to think which is it, so don't blame me. It's currently 5 a.m. in the morning in my country and I'm still doing this video. Please guys, uh, be kind, be gentle. Don't bomb me with um, correction and all that. So, uh, it says there, player rank EXP. Now, if you are not familiar with what player rank is right now, uh, shame on you! <laughs> the game, <laughs> the game has been out with player rank for quite some time. So basically, what you do to get player rank is you play any of the normal live songs, uh, normal songs, you know, and you score as high as possible. That high score will give you certain points for your player rank, and of course, once you reach a certain player rank or you've unlocked the next player rank you unlock some special items, some resources, some singing stones or even episode plates that are only unlockable through player rank. So yeah, so these are the two items or rather the two EXPs they have mentioned under the other items. There are actually other things that you can obtain from this gacha as well but they did not highlight what they are. I guess these two are the more important ones that you can obtain uh, beside the life uh, rarity upstar and the life at the uh, so yeah anyway guys we finally <laughs> reached the end of all the info from the Uta Macross SP broadcast oh my goodness I can toss my notebook aside right now so uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna finish up editing this video and have it uploaded onto my channel hopefully this information has been very useful to you guys uh yeah and i can finally head to bed uh and enjoy the rest of my day today it's currently the 3rd of august 5 10 a.m in singapore and i beat you guys farewell after saying this if you like what you see in here hit the like button down below hit the subscribe button if you have not because I put a lot of effort into my videos, editing and all that. Especially if I'm trying to put it out as quickly as possible for you guys. I apologize once again that this video did not uh, come up on the 1st of August. Because the rec broadcast for Luta Macross SP was on 1st of August. But it was during the late hours. Um, when the broadcast finally ended, I had to record uh, Nakajima Megumi's line live. Then after that, I still had to edit all those videos and then upload it onto the Facebook group. Uh, if you guys are on, my, on the Facebook group, you probably know how busy I was during that period of time uploading every single kind of information onto the group. So, I didn't have time to do this video until the 2nd of August. So yeah, it's dragged on until the 3rd of August morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm heading to bed. And I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross video. Until then, bye!